Hello, this is Craig. So as I mentioned, this game is going to feature a mech, and so I went ahead and I designed a mech. I actually recorded me designing the mech, but for some reason it recorded skewed, and you couldn't really see anything. I'm not sure what was up with that. Um, but this is the side view of the mech I designed, and the whole point of this mech is that it has, uh, it moves across rough terrain very rapidly. So it's got uh, a heavy hip system and heavy knee system and uh, an augmented toe to allow it to push off or land better. It's also got some place where you can store whatever you need to store um, and I'm actually going to modify that so that it's uh, a larger amount of space. There we are. And so what I was doing was I decided I was going to do the front view and uh, since me designing the side view didn't work out uh, from vi from a video perspective. I figured I'd go ahead and design the front view with you. Uh, so the um, the overall idea of the mech's arms is that it doesn't have to be strong. It just has to have strong hands because it needs to be able to cling to stuff and carry stuff. So now you can see what I'm doing here is I'm basically doing a quick little sketch in. Now if you're talking uh, that that is the same all of the same heights but is uh, this front view. Uh, now if you're talking to a professional doing this sort of thing they'll probably create some really nice clean lines and do a real pro sort of thing. I'm actually just going to sketch it up and then toss it into Blender because I know how I want it to look so I don't need to make it look that way here I can make it look that way in Blender. So I just drew these flanges here and I'm going to go ahead and draw in the upper chest like so. And now uh, the mech has, uh, doesn't need much of a barrel chest. It doesn't really care about that sort of thing. Um, so I'm tilting rather badly because the underlying sketch uh, is tilted. So there we are. It's okay if you're tilted. The whole thing is just to be a guide in, in uh, Blender. So let's put the shoulders in. And now you actually want to put in, for the front view, you want to have it in T-pose. For the side view, you either need to take the arms out or put them in some other pose. So that's, that's okay. Um, so our arm has these coils like this. And then it goes on to have some... Um, some shapes like this, which expose the inner workings, and then it's got some uh, heavy joints. When it gets out to the hand, it actually bulges outward because we need to have a very strong hand. So something like this. And I'll actually do all the finishing of the hand in Blender, so I don't need to worry about that here. Uh, I'm not going to draw the other arm. There's no need for it. Um, just one arm is plenty. But I do want to draw these hooks so that I know roughly where they come out. These are the, the cargo hooks. And then I've got the... So when we get down to the hips, the whole point of these uh, particular uh, mechs is that they can really, really jump and land very efficiently and effectively. So they need to have some really aggressively designed hips to do shock absorption. Um, so uh, I'm not really thinking about uh, whether the mech looks masculine or feminine, even though I'm talking about hip size. Um, so if uh, if it comes out looking one way or the other, I don't really care. Um, I just need it to look unique. So then we get to the knee joint, which is also very heavy hitting. Like this. I'm going to pause here. Sorry, you're going to have to live with the noise of whatever's going on in the background there. Um, and then the knee joint actually comes down to here. And this point, at this point, it actually splits into 
uh, three different pieces. So you've got this piece, and you've got this piece. Oh, I really love that beeping sound I've got going. I don't know what the heck that's up. It beeps whenever I hit Control Z. I presume it's because I'm recording, and the recording software is doing something crazy. And then you've got the um, the toe piece, the the augment for the toe that comes forward through those pieces, and then collides with the foot down here. So these can actually be significantly thicker, like this. And then we draw in the toes, like so. And like the hands, I'll figure out the specifics of how that toe looks uh, in Blender later. So I'm not going to draw the other leg either, but it will look a little bit odd if that leg is the only leg. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to highlight it. And then cut and paste it. And it is beeping continuously. I really have no idea why. That's fine, though. And then I can just move this over to here. And you can see that um, the width of the hips isn't quite enough, which is why you want to do this kind of testing. So I'm going to move this, put this here, and then I'm going to go back down to the previous layer and grab this and move it out like so. There we are. Now with that in mind, we can retrofit the joint area a little bit to make that work better and uh, um, put in some of the back stuff here like so Now, you can see that our, our mech is a little bit skewed off to one side, but we don't really care about that. Um, I'll be using it uh, pretty loosely, so I'm not going to worry too much about that kind of specific stuff. Um, but I do want to put something on the stomach here, uh, maybe something like this, which can be like lights or something. All right, so there you go. Uh, so that is the mech we've designed in uh, the past... 40 minutes, and I don't know whether or not this video will take. It may end up skewed as well, since I don't know what end it made the last one end up looking skewed. But either way, the next video will be in Blender, and we will be um, uh, putting these guys in the background and, uh, and box modeling them. So look forward to that.